I'm here back again and today I'm gonna speak about this lovely Mitutoyo microscopic lens or microscopic objective whatever this one is a Mitutoyo M plan Apple 20 magnification numerical aperture 0 0.42 it's absolutely amazing and excellent equipment for microscopic photography I'm not gonna really speak about the microscopic lenses at the moment I'm gonna be speaking only about this lens yeah what is interesting about this lens <laughs> is when I'm checking it on a Mitutoyo CO UK at the moment this lens this little objective is 1596 pounds including VAT yeah and it's very expensive <laughs> I bought this one on eBay what was happening was the first time in one year because I'm, I'm hunting for these lenses the first time in one year I've seen someone in the UK to sell this lens 20 magnification I was like that's amazing and, and the price was around 450 used one or 460 and I was like that's amazing price actually this is it's like really cheap or because usually when you want to buy this lens you in a used condition uh, it comes up to 600 ish from the countries where you have to pay a tax import tax so that means it will be around 600 ish and then you pay another let's say 200 ish for everything like a postage and tax and everything so you can get this lens for around 800 ish and the guy from the uk he was selling this lens for like 450 i was like that's amazing price i'm gonna i'm gonna just probably buy it but he also had a make offer so i was like i will make him offer so i made him offer of 310 pounds or 300 pounds and he didn't really agree and then I he gave me some counter offer so I offered him like 10 pounds more and I said I'm sorry mate I'm not gonna answer any of your counter offers anymore so he agreed my offer of 310 pounds I bought this amazing lens for 310 pounds in a great condition from outside but the problem is now I bought the lens I've got it I had a look inside because that's always what you have to do when you get a new lens yeah I mean not really new one but when you get a used lens and I found something really badly sad so I found out that this lens has a problem with the delamination and delamination in a microscope uh, microscopic objective industry is something like I'm so sorry guys I'm gonna read it from the page the process of the separation of glass elements bonded together with balsam cement usually the balsam dries or changes so let's say the balsam they're using for gluing the glasses together inside the lens is somehow dried out it looks like you will see how it looks I disassemble this lens and you will see exactly how it looks yeah but anyway that will come later so I had a look on the lens I found out there is a problem with the delamination so I sent message to the guy and I said sorry mate uh, I want to return the lens because it has this and this kind of damage yeah and he was like oh uh, I'm very sorry about that I can maybe give you some refund or something like a partial refund so I said all right fair enough uh, I'm able to take it for 150 that's my maximum offer for the lens otherwise I'll send you back I'll, I'll send you this objective back so he was like um, he gave me again some kind of counter offer I said sorry mate uh, give me your address I'll send you the lens back so he agreed of 155 so originally I bought this lens now for 155 pounds so the lens which cost 
uh, on a Mitotoyo COUK page or .co.uk, whatever how you call it. 1,596 pounds. I have it for 155 pounds. Yeah, with a delamination delamination problem. So you will see later how it looks. Yeah. Anyway, I believe that this lens can deliver absolutely amazing results. I believe so. I, I still haven't checked it to be honest with you, but I believe that it can deliver amazing results. I will show you later on what kind of results I'm I'm getting with this lens. Also, I already had this lens, not this particular lens, but the same type of lens, exactly the same one. I bought a really badly scratched one from Japan or somewhere for like 500 ish, maybe two, three years ago. I don't remember exactly, but this one is in amazing condition from outside. And what is amazing about these lenses is these Mitutoyo lenses, they will make image sharp on your full frame camera from edge to the edge. Yeah. And that's what is amazing about them. Another thing, they have amazing working distance. That means if you take in pictures of insect or memory cards, you can go probably that much from the lens. Yeah. So you still have a lot of space, as you see, probably like one inch or something where the light can go like a flashlight, any light. Yeah. Because the usual problem with the microscopic lenses is that you have to go so close. Yes. Now, what I'm talking about, this particular lens has a resolution a numerical aperture of 0 0.42 that means it's like pretty sharp yeah that 0 0.42 actually tells you the resolution power of the lens i believe so like a kind of like a sharpness the higher number so for example this one is 0 0.42 if it's like a 0 0.50 or 0 0.55 that means it's even sharper yeah even more expensive and even the working distance is probably more shorter now this one has a numeric aperture of 0 0.42 and the working distance is a two centimeters. Yeah, that's amazing working distance for a 20 magnification lens. Yeah. Give me one second. So here I have a Carl Zeiss GF Planochromat 25 magnification numerical aperture 0 0.5 which is actually higher than that one because that one is 0 0.42 yeah and so this one is even higher magnification and even a little bit higher uh, numerical aperture but this one has a working distance three millimeters yeah so that means if you have an insect or anything you have to go like so close yeah so tell me how you're gonna put a proper light into that little distance. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. So this lens, huge, lovely one, has amazing working distance. And that's why these lenses are very amazing. I think they're best. <laughs> so if you say Mitutoyo, that means the best. Means the best in a different language. I'm joking, <laughs> but these lenses are really amazing. Yeah, and uh, I'm playing guitar, so uh, I have like long nails. I'm sorry, guys. Actually, I'm not apologizing. I'm just saying, yeah. What I've done with this lens, I disassembled the lens. I'm going to show you how it looks inside. And I'm going to show you the element inside, which has a delamination problem. So you will see it later on in a different video. Probably I'm going to test it out this particular lens how the results are i mean so far it looks good but i um, haven't tested it out on a full frame camera so i don't know yet yeah we will see what, what, what's going on here i also have uh, this lovely brother which is a mitu toyo 10 magnification numerical aperture 0 0.28 
Yeah, this one has a working distance of 33 millimeters. That's so amazing that you, you, I know you are not interested in microscopic photography with the digital camera, but that I was, and that working distance, it's amazing. It's, it's huge. Even the lens is huge here. Yeah? So these two lovely lenses, this one is around 760 when new from, from the UK page, Metatel page. And this one is 1596 include watts, pounds, yes. It's, it's expensive, yes. So uh, let's have a look how it looks inside. But before I do that, I'm going to show you the picture taken with exactly same lens, just a different one from three years ago. Just give me a second, I need to find that picture somewhere. Just let's have a look at it. So I found it, yeah, and I'm going to show you the print, printout of the butterfly wing. Uh, you know what? I'll do it a bit different way. I'll show you something else first. And this is really interesting. I have my little box here with some interesting material in it in inside of the box i won't show you what is it but i'll take one of the little yeah and i'm gonna show you now yeah so you will see now what's going on here okay so let's have a look at this one what is it yes you are right it's a butterfly wing or even this one it's probably a moth wing or how do you say moth 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 whatever like the evening butterfly or night butterfly yeah whatever can you see how small it is it's probably no, not sharp anymore maybe if i'll try to somehow i don't know can you see it yeah can you see how big it is? Cool. Now I need to make a focus on me. Cool. Yes. That's me. Cool. Okay. Now I've used, I have used this lens, this objective on that butterfly, whatever wing. And the magnification I've got <clears throat> on a crop camera was around it's quite possible that probably i've used some some teleconverters as well to get maybe a little bit more magnification so maybe i've got like a 30 magnification instead of 20 but doesn't matter now what i'm trying to say by that is look at this yeah so this one as you can see here it's a extreme magnification of uh, that butterfly wing yeah i will show you the picture also in a digital form so this is a printout it's huge and extremely sharp it's a lot of detail there it's amazing quality amazing colors amazing everything i'm, I'm like when i show this picture to anybody they are like oh my gosh that's amazing mate yeah don't worry about it at the moment <clears throat> what is important is i have a new lens here the same one but with the delamination problem i will test it out how it's going to perform hopefully the quality is going to be the same and but not end but but end and not the end but yes you know what i mean now i'm going to this is this I'm going to disassemble this objective right now and we will see what's inside so let's have a look how it looks from inside
okay guys so thank you very much for watching my video and i definitely know that you have enjoyed it one thing to say i bought a scratch card today for two pounds and i won 100 pounds i'm so happy i'm sorry i'm looking that way i'm not looking that way because i'm watching my little monitor and yeah so thank you and see you next time.